well, for, first of all, it needs to find partners. And the two partners, you the advertisers and the publishers. And the advertisers are people paying Google to drive traffic to their site. And the, the, the publishing partners are people who are sh sharing a cut of that payment. It's a commission, it's a revenue share with, with Google. So content sites, uh, publishing sites, have a banner area rather than filling it with a graphic or something like that and, and trying to negotiate a complex deal. They just go straight to Google, they put in some code and Google supplies the advert automatically for them. So straight off AdSense is easy. The complicated bits are behind the scenes. So your AdSense banner is actually a little window almost. It's not the content that appears there isn't on your site, it's in an iframe put together by JavaScript, which looks through into Google servers, area that Google controls. The second stage is working out what content to put in that little window, what, what, to, what to display. And Google uses um, robots for that, uh, media syndication robot will come and read your website, analyze the text to work out what you're talking about. And that information goes back to Google and this happens in, in seconds once Google's aware that there's a need for putting an advert on your page works out what, what your page is about, boiling it down to keywords, works out what's an appropriate advert to display, and displays that. Google will, has a quality control mechanism in there. So it's not just price. If one advert is particularly responsive to other websites, like you, when it appears on other websites, people tend to click on it, Google's more likely to conclude this is an appropriate advert to appear in an AdSense banner, and it's more likely to display it but certainly the, the, the price that people are willing to pay per click also influences the chance of it appearing on, on your site. Now as a publisher, there may be some downsides in banners selling things appearing on your site and there are some safe controls. As a publisher, you can go to Google and say, I do not want this bookshop, my enemy, or any URL associated advertising on my site. So you, you can block it. For a, a, a publisher, uh, for an advertiser, there's maybe a little bit less control you can either opt in or you can either opt out, but what you can do is associate negative keywords. So if a website talks about search engine strategies, but also talks about um, Excel Arena, and you can say, well, I really want to concentrate on search engine strategies. I'm not particularly wanting my advert to appear on any sites that talk about conference hosting. And so if it mentions the word Excel, then my advert is no longer to, to appear.